Hello my friends, my friends, welcome back to Beginner's Guide. Welcome back to Beginner's Guide, episode 7 today, I think. I think, if we can count to 7, which we can't sometimes, but that's okay. So, episode 7, what are we talking about today? We are talking about leveling up your skills on your monsters. Okay, so, how do we do that? We don't use the summon circle here. We use the power-up pad, or the power-up circle, whatever you want to call it. So, <clears throat> there are three main ways, or two really, to level up your skills. And I want to talk today about maximizing your efficiency with your food, your evolving, and your skills, right? So here we have, for example, my water Inugami. And I want to make him a four-star monster. And I need three three-star monsters to sacrifice to him to do so. So, what does that mean? Well, ah, it means click, click, click. It means I could use this guy. I wouldn't because he's ready to become a four-star for food. I could use any three-star monster I want. Now, I don't want to use those ones because I'm using them right now. So, what are the best ones to use when you're... Oh, let's use this for a bit. When you're... Uh, evolving your monsters. Well, the best or most the most efficient are to use three-star level one monsters, right? Because you've put the least amount of time and effort into them. You want to make sure that you don't have any runes that you want to save on these monsters. Um, and you want to make sure that you're not going to want them later for fusion or whatever, dungeons. Like I said, if you guys have seen my top ten two-star monster lists, there is a number of good monsters that are only two stars, and you can use them all the way to late game. For example, the Water Garuda, right? Uh, the the thing is great in Giants B10, or, or if you know if you don't have anything better. But I mean, it, it whatever. The point is, just be sure that you're ready to use for food. And the best ones are ones that are farmable. The Water Inugami is farmable. The Wind Inugami is farmable. I think the Fire one might even be at a later level too, but that's different. That's not as efficient to farm. Okay, so we're leveling up skills, right? I'll just show you real quick, 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 quick. So his skills are both at level one. If he was awakened, I would have this third skill, but I don't. I don't have him awakened yet. I'll work this week on awakening, awakening a lot of these monsters. Um, <clears throat> so I can get one skill up here. I can get looks like seven eight skill ups sorry seven because one's already done so i could give this guy a total of eight so seven here and one on the next page for now once i awaken him that third skill will get some skill ups too and how do we do it there's like i said there's three ways for me but there's two ways really so i call it three ways because so what are we going to do i told you we could use any uh blah 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 so I told you we could use any three-star monsters, but the three I would use and recommend is these three because they're also Inugamis and because he needs skill-ups. So let's go back to the pad. So using any three would work, but the reason we're going to use, let's find it, here he is, those three is because using these three Inugamis is going to do two things. It's going to evolve him because we have three three-star monsters. And it's going to give us three random skill ups for those two skills. And here it will show us which ones it chose. Because it is random, it's out of our hands. So his first skill gets a skill up, his first skill gets another one, and his second skill, which only gets one skill up, gets the third. So that's great. Now my second skill has that <clears throat> cool time debuff, or buff, so I can use it more often. When else can you do that? So I used that. Uh, it was a pretty perfect example of when best to do that. But what if you just have a level 1 Inugami and you want to scale him up and you don't want to wait, or you have a 4 star monster that's level 30 max and you don't want to use its 3 star version, you don't want to level it up all the way for food because you've already got food. Well, you can just do it anytime, and this is why I say it's the second way, because that first way I call it the evolve form, where you use the food to level up skills. This way is the power-up way, where you can just feed one monster that's the same type. It doesn't have to be Inugamis, like uh, 
Oh, I'm out of mana. <coughs> Great. Oh. I'm going to do something that I don't recommend. I'm going to spend 30 crystals to get some mana. Just so I can show you for the video. So I want my fire Nagami to reap the benefits of the wind Nagami in his skills. But again, so it's the power up method. So I used power up instead of evolve, where I didn't need him to become the next level. I just wanted the skill, right? So it's really the same way, but I call it two different ways. One's the power up way, one's the evolve method. The evolve method is by far the most efficient. The power up way is fine because uh, Sometimes that doesn't always work out where the level of monster for food that you want is what you get to use. So that's that. What's the other way that we can do that? Well, there are these cool little guys called Devilmon. And if I look here in the dark monsters, I think we'll find them down there. Oh my lord. Sheesh. Okay, here they are. Devilmon. The Devilmon are for this one purpose. They increase the skill of your monsters. They are rare. Um, they're not impossible to get, but they don't. You can't just go farm them every day. So here's the thing. What do we use Devilmon on? Are you going to use it on your Inugami? No, because you can farm Inugami. Are you going to use them on your Vagabonds? No. For the Night Carbon account, the two monsters I would use it on are Pirate Captain, my four-star monster. Uh, if I wasn't going to, I know in the future, I'm going to use the water ninja, Susano, for fusion, so I'll be f f uh, feeding or sacrificing him later for fusion, so I don't want to waste any Devilmons on him because Devilmons are hard to get. So I would pretty much stick with your four-star monsters, definitely your five-star monsters, uh, but everything else you get from, you know, your mystical scrolls quite often, you can farm a lot of them. Don't do it on any two-star monsters. I would even challenge don't do it on any three-star monsters, right? Um, <clears throat> they just they do come eventually. Stick it to like four-star monsters that there aren't a three-star counterpart. For example, the Epicon Priests. Chloe is a four-star monster, the fire Epicon Priest. But Rena and Oh, I forget. The Wind One, whatever her name is. I can't remember right now. Brienne, maybe. I think it's Brienne. Um, they're three-star monsters, so you can get the Water and the Wind One quite often from your Mystical Scrolls and feed them to your four-stars. So you can look in the collection and see, well, who's who's who, if you just take a few minutes to look. So I was talking about the Epicon Priests, right? So here's Chloe. You can see that she's a four-star Epicon Priest. Would you use a Devilmon on her? I wouldn't, because if you look at the water one, the water Epicon Priest, wherever she may be. Any moment now. And... <clears throat> so, apparently I need some glasses. Wait. There she is. Duh. Always in the last spot you expect. She's a three star, so you can get these three stars and you can feed to your Chloe, right? So don't use your Devil Mom on that kind of a four star. That's just my example. There goes my guild chat. Okay, so that's the Devil Mons. How do we get Devil Mons? Um, there's a few ways. The most common way is from the guild shop. The glory shop, I should say, not the guild shop. You can't get them from the guild shop at this time. So the guild, the glory shop, which is your arena victory, or even there's a screenshot, your arena points, right? So you can buy one per week for 180 uh, glory points, and I don't have enough right now because I haven't been focusing on the arena, which you should do, guys. Even if you lose, you get a glory point, and those uh, see, look at all of my arena invitations. I have the monsters now and the strength now to, to be doing at least 20 a day. Uh, 20 and usually you're getting three or four, but let's use three as a rough example because that's as a new player That's usually what you're going to be getting or if you do it from your rivals you get three glory points, but Excuse me three times 20 you get 60 glory points a day really easily That's just 20 arena invitations, right? And you get arena invitations from the wish wheel there. You're gonna get them. You're going to get them so there's where to get them. You can get one per week, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it does add up as long as, as, long as you focus on the monster you want, right? And uh, 
I tend to just feed the devil monster the monsters until they're cool. We'll see if the skills. Uh, where's a good one? Okay, you see this? So this monster, I would give it Devilmons until this one, this skill was maxed, so I got that cool time turn minus one, so I could use the skill more often. I would probably not use it so much on, like, the first skill. Like, if you had the second and third skills maxed, I wouldn't worry about that first skill necessarily, because you could use those Devilmons on other monsters for their second and third skills, right? That's not to say, if you're using this monster a lot, uh, and you're going to use it for its first skill, like this defense break, which is great, then Maximo. I mean, it's really something that you kind of have to decide for yourself how much you're going to use this monster. So that's how Devilmon work. Again, where else can you get Devilmon? Well, every once in a while, you'll see a Devilmon pack come up. I think they're 50 bucks. They're not cheap. Um, you do get some crystals and some other stuff within the Devilmon pack. But 50 bucks, guys, make sure you can afford it. Live within your means, I recommend. Don't just throw money at this game. It's a lot of money. You don't really get a lot. All you have to do is wait three weeks, right? And yeah, well, it's 50 bucks. It's three weeks. But I'm just advocating being responsible with your money. That's all. If you have it, you can afford it. Why not? Okay. So, what's the other ways we can get Devil Mons? Well, every once in a while come to us, the overlords there at come to us, give us something cool like this. They give us the Devilmon uh, secret dungeon, or yeah, secret dungeon. And um, I wish they would give us uh, one of these days. Good connection to their service. I mean, it's usually good. I don't know. Today's a, a bad day. I don't know what's going on. So we have the Devilmon cave surprise attack. Check it out. If you're wondering what I'm doing. That's what. Alright. So, what is this? The Angemon, Rabumon, Devilmon are open for three days during the event. If you look up here, Devilmon Dungeon, September 27th. You can't see it on my screen, but today is September 27th. Awesome. So, we've checked that out. Always check those events tabs, guys. Com2S is really good for providing uh, resources, crystals, mana, scrolls within their events, and they have them weekly. So, what does that mean? Well, it means we have to have access to the Kairos Dungeon. And there's a Devilmon Cave that we can access the Devilmon. So, it's not super hard to beat, but they are something. So, I'll put in what I think are my... I'm going to put in him because he's a self-healer. Uh, no, I'm going to put in him because he's a multi-target attacker. So hopefully I can beat him. I don't know. I'm a new player, but uh, this is another way to get them. So you can get them from the glory shop. You can get them from the packs. You can get them from events like this. That's pretty much the ways that's going to go down, guys. And those are the ways that you skill up your monsters. And what gives three star and two star monsters an edge over four and five star monsters is that they are easy to max their skills up. A monster that has its skills maxed, that three stars, versus a monster that's four stars that doesn't have any skill level ups, is a huge advantage, uh, depending on the monster, of course. There's some that are OP, there's some that are, you can level up your skills, and they still suck. Martial Cats, we're looking at you, but except the Dark Martial Cat. I defend the Dark Martial Cat. She's good. So we're doing okay, as long as we can knock down these four that'll be it. But you gotta be careful. Every time you knock one of these uh, monsters down, the final four in these Rainbowmon, Angelmon, Devilmon, they bring you down to one hit point pretty much, or, or a few percent. I ended up pulling the win as soon as the internet smartens up. <clears throat> I could really use some elevator music. There we are. We get... A Devilmon, which we can use to then power up our monsters. And we get five crystals for clearing the stage. We could also do the Angel Gardens for some water Angelmon. I'm not concerned with that. You get them so often from the Kairos Dungeon from the Hall of Water. So I'm going to focus on the video. But that's it, guys. So, again, just to show you how that works before we finish here. Oh, yeah. So I want to level up who? 
I said pick monsters that you know you're going to keep and that are not farmable. So I don't know that I'm going to keep the water pirate captain. And if I get the, uh, so the wind pirate captain, if I get the water pirate captain, I'm going to use the wind as food for him to level up the water skills. Um, I know I'm going to keep the fire Ninetale Fox because she's really good for Necropolis. So I'm going to ugh, exit out of there. Really glitchy today. Use the Devilmon. Power up. Power up here. The monster will disappear. And you can use Devilmon on any monster where I had to use Inugamis to level up Inugamis. And if you've seen before, I've used Vagabonds to power up Vagabond skills. Devilmon, power up any monster skills. There, Phantom Light. Perfect. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. That's it for skilling up your monsters, guys. Hope you, uh, if you didn't know, hope that cleared stuff up. Hope you learned something. Hope you had an enjoyment. Hope you were able to enjoy the video. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Anything at all. Any questions, write them below. We'll get back to you. And we will see you at episode 8 next time.